Hello everyone, my name is Tony Tanzi, Senior Network Engineer with Com Solutions Company. And in this Tech Tip video, I would like to discuss PanDB, which is a new URL filtering option to us available from Palo Alto Networks. But first, let's talk about a little background. One of the things that we need to be aware of is that PanDB is delivered as a cloud service as opposed to Bright Cloud, where we would actually download the entire database. And this is the main reason why, when using Bright Cloud, you have to schedule your downloading and updates of this database. With PanDB, being that it's delivered as a cloud service, we initially download a seed file that will get put into our cache, both our management plane and data plane cache. And all lookups will be done looking at that cache first and then going out to the cloud. The size of the cache and the number of URLs that can be contained in cache depends on the firewall platform. And here we'll see the number of URLs that can be contained in the management class and the management cache will vary based on platform. Also, the number of URLs that are contained in the data plane cache and these will stay in the data plane cache until the firewall is rebooted. So this is the number of URLs that can be contained in the data plane cache. It's also important to understand the activation of PanDB. So if we jump to our firewall, we'll take a look here. And one of the first things we have to do is download our license so that we have a valid license for PanDB URL filtering. This is a separate license from BrightCloud. Once we have a valid license on the firewall, the first thing we need to do is to download the PanDB seed file. So again, looking here, once we have our license and we select to pan download the PanDB seed file, we'll be asked to specify a specific region. Once we select that region, we will download that seed file based on that region, once we have that database downloaded, we can then go in and activate PanDB. One of the things we will notice is that if we are running Bright Cloud, once we activate PanDB, the firewall will automatically deactivate Bright Cloud URL filtering. And there is a mapping of the categories that will take place within the firewall to map the Bright Cloud categories to the appropriate PanDB categories. One of the other things we need to be aware of is in the configuration of the profiles. So specifically around how the profiles are processed. So we need to understand the process flow for categorization. So when we try to access a URL with PanDB, the first thing the firewall will look at will is a configured block list for the matching URL profile that is assigned to the policy. After interrogating the block list, we will then look at the allow list to see if these URLs are to be allowed in the allow list. We'll then look at any custom categories that have been defined. Again, these will show up with an asterisk in our profile. We'll then look to the data plane URL cache and the management URL cache for a categorization for that URL. If we are unable to identify that URL via any of these first five methods, we will then reach out to the cloud to get a categorization for that URL. One of the other things to notice is that within our profile, once we change to PanDB, the dynamic URL filtering option is no longer available to us. The reason behind this is being that Bright Cloud was downloading the entire URL database to us, we would selectively enable dynamic URL filtering for anything we didn't have in the database. Being that PanDB is a cloud-based service, this option is enabled by default and is not configurable. It will automatically go to the cloud to do any URL categorization if we don't find it via the methods we just discussed. Again, my name is Tony Tanzi, Senior Network Engineer with Comm Solutions Company. 
Please visit ComSolutions at www.comsolutions.com for all your networking needs and to stay updated on any new events that ComSolutions is having. Thanks for your time and attention, and have a good day.